Idology is excited today to welcome Holly Cavanaugh. Actually, your idol journey starts with season 10. Yeah. And we have to talk about your uh, season 10 audition where you were a bit of a hot crying wreck <laughs> in the beginning. I think watching Idol, I was always like, why is that person crying? Seriously, you don't know the baby deal. You know, right. watching you don't understand, but I mean, you don't understand how much time it takes and how much energy you have to put into it, you know? Because it takes a while to even get to the judges. You're you know? kind of sitting around, yeah, the anticipation so builds like, up. Exactly, so I got to that point and it's just like you wait that long and then I went in there and I, I didn't do the best I could. And then, you know, you wait all that time to get in and then they're like, no, and you're like, Wait, seriously? So it was, I think I just like had a breakdown. Yeah, you're not quite ready yet, love. I'm gonna say no. Cause I haven't been singing that long and I was surrounded by people always telling me, you know, like, you're so good, you know, you do this. So, you know, when you're only surrounded by good things, you don't expect bad. Right. So that's something I learned fast. And when I went in there, that was when they were like, oh, you're just not that great. And that was the first time I've ever been told that, you know, <laughs> and it was on like national television. Oh God, you know, I was like, I'm not good enough. I'm not that, you know, but that's something that you learn. There's going to be people that love you and there's going to be people that, you know, don't like you, but you just have to, you know, brush it off your shoulders and keep going. Can you do me a favor? You think you can collect yourself to sing one more song? At the moment of your audition, I was like, oh man, like she's not ready for Idol. But by the yeah. time you made it to the Green Mile in season 10 and you got cut, I was like, oh no, you know, yeah. why are they cutting Holly? We're not gonna put you through on this time. Okay. I definitely felt like I was coming out of my shell a bit more, you know, performance by performance. No one, no one, no, no. But yeah, I don't think I was ready at all. I don't think I was ready for what would have happened to me afterwards. I mean, knowing now knowing what now. happens, I mean, I know I wouldn't have been ready. So I think they did right by, you know, cut me last year. year, yeah. In a year or two, I feel like, honestly, Holly, you could come back and win. Were you thinking like the minute you left that room, like, oh, I'm coming back? I knew I wanted to come back. There was still a bit, how many years should I wait? Mm -hmm. Should I, you know? And then Holly decides to come back on the most talented year that Idol has. <laughs> <laughs> Good job on that one. <laughs> Season 11, it was a bit of the Where's DeAndre and Holly show for the first several weeks because huh, everyone yeah. kind of knew that you guys were coming back. <laughs> They'd show glimpses of you yeah. exiting through a doorway or standing in the corner, but we never heard you. You start thinking like, am I going to get green mild again? Even my friends, they were like, are you sure you tried out? And I was like, I promise I did. I promise I'm there. And they even did that with Jessica too. Mm -hmm. You know, I and um, they didn't show hair a lot and then they popped hair out the same time they did me and DeAndre. Yeah. Me and DeAndre, we knew we were gonna come back. And I think if DeAndre wouldn't have went back, I wouldn't have went back and the same with DeAndre. But I think we just both wanted tour. That was like our main goal. We saw you the first three weeks on the show, Christine Aguilera, Whitney Houston, you didn't have a choice. You had to cover yeah. Whitney. And then a Celine Dion song, or a song that's primarily known by Celine Dion, yeah. Power of Love. What's the intensity level of choosing artists at that level? Did you ever have moments where you thought, maybe I should pick someone with a smaller voice because I could crush it? I think I, I just wanted to push myself more than I ever have. Mm -hmm. And I think I wanted to pull it off so people could say, Holly, oh, well, she pulled off a Celine song or a Whitney song, you know? I think that was maybe my problem, too, sometimes, because I, I was picking songs that... I was challenging myself and, you know, I was making mistakes on the show. Maybe a high note that I couldn't potentially hit right now, I chose to do it and then maybe mess it up on the show. No! That's just me pushing myself and right. planning it as to where maybe I should have just picked songs that I knew and could have easily sang. But then I would have kind of felt like I was cheating myself in a way because, I don't know, I feel like this is the biggest experience that I'm I, I'm ever going to get, you know? So I just felt like I wanted to, to push myself. You had a pretty strong run those first few weeks of the season, and then you kind of hit that rough patch mm -hmm. around top nine to top seven week. Yeah. Talk to me about Jesus Takes the Wheel, because I feel like that's maybe the first performance where things... Yeah, uh, to be honest, I'm going to be honest. I really didn't understand... I just wish that you sang a different song. That's all I'm saying. They just say some unnice things and I listen back to it and I'm like, I, you know, I didn't think it was <laughs> that bad. You know, it might not have been fantastic and the best performance you've ever had, but I didn't think it was that bad. There were some tiny things that I noticed that, you know, I'm always going to notice because I'm my worst critic, but I didn't think it was You didn't think horrible. it was catastrophic? You thought yeah. there was a couple of little... Yeah, I thought there were some nice moments. That was the week that you did the Madonna medley with Skylar and Jessica. And I was like, holy crap. And we didn't get to hear much up-tempo stuff from you. I've been told that I was 
better at my ballads than my, I mean I, I feel like I'm strongest at my ballads mm -hmm. if I get a good ballad I feel like I'm strong at that too but I mean I do like the up-tempo song hopefully for an album I'd like to have my ballads on there but sadly the diva ballads aren't what sells at the moment it's yeah. you know the pop songs that people want to play in the radio and listen to so I mean that's that's where I want to go down as well but I want to have you got to have your diva ballads I want to have even if it's not like pushed out, I want to have it like on my album. Do you have like a dream, like maybe someday these big songs can come back? Oh yeah, I mean, me and my brother, it's been, you know, Mariah, you know, Christina, Whitney, Celine, you know, Etta James, Ruth Franklin, like those are the songs I still listen to and it's like, what happened to this music when people love to hit a belt note and you like throw your hand up and <laughs> right. thank God for that note coming up, <laughs> you know? It's nice to throw a hand up when you hear exactly. a note and you're just like, damn. Yeah. yeah. Whew. <laughs> Take you to church. Let's talk about flash dance. What a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Go here, move here, do this, sing it this way, do that. The feedback you were getting sometimes, your face would just sort of register like, what the hell? It's not like don't overthink it. It's mm -hmm. now it's like free fall into space. What he said about free falling, he's absolutely right. Yeah. I think my problem with flash dance was it had too many high notes in it. Mm -hmm. I think the whole thing was just kind of tino at tino at tino. <laughs> I could see where it looked staged, but I think I was trying so hard because they were like, let go, do this, do that. But then they gave me, oh, it looks staged, it wasn't good. And I was like, what can I do, <laughs> you know? I think the key to it is just to not listen mm -hmm. and not really take in, I mean, take in what they say, but at the end of the day, when you get on the stage, you just do what you feel and that always works best because Josh does that, so <laughs> that <laughs> seems to work out for him. Around top seven, part two week, you seem to sort of shake off whatever that mid yeah. period of the season had happened to you and I think rolling in the deep was kind of maybe your comeback moment. Yeah. Go ahead and show me out and I'll stop it. Was there any discouragement behind the scenes from covering Adele? Yeah, I was actually told by a few people, don't sing that song. It's been so overdone. And it was especially in, you know, previous weeks in Hollywood and stuff, it was really overdone. But I think that's why it was my turning point because if you were to ask me maybe early, I would have been like, Oh, you're right, I shouldn't do that. But I think at that point I was like, I don't really care. I love that song and I'm gonna sing it, you know? Right. And I even told my brother, everybody's telling me not to sing it. He was like, That makes you wanna sing it, doesn't it? I was like, Yeah. We just want you so was my best performance when I just stopped listening to people. That was the same week as Son of a Preacher Man. Mm -hmm. Lyrically, where were you going with that song? It's a little bit racy. It was a big soul song, you know, and that's what Jimmy said that I had none of, so it was like, <laughs> okay, well, I'm taking on a huge soul song, so that's cool. I love that song. I had Josh Stone cover it and, you know, obviously Dusty, but I love performing it, and I mean, you know, there was obviously, you know, it's bit you know, the song, but right. I mean, at that point, I was a bit stuck with what I wanted to sing, you know, because we only have songs that are cleared, and I think with that song, it suited my voice the best, so I just kind of took it on. When I first started singing Believe in Love, I, I hated it. I never liked the song before it you really? sang it, to be honest with you. Really? I keep, keep love. 